The Torah portion opens up with one of the most famous dreams of all time, Jacob's Ladder. And the Torah says, On this place Jacob slept. And Rashi asks, This place? The great commentary Rashi explains that Jacob didn't have a normal night's sleep for the past 14 years. On the way, leaving his parents' home, on the way to go to his uncle Laban's house, he stopped at the yeshiva of the descendants of Noah, Shem and Aver, and studied there tirelessly for 14 years, never had a normal night's sleep. This was the first time he went to sleep at night in 14 years. After this event, his life changes completely. He's in the house of Laban. He doesn't study almost not at all. He is busy day and night watching Laban's sheep. Our rabbis tell us that while he was watching this sheep, he recited psalms. Here you have, on one hand, this giant, intense scholar soaring spiritual heights for 14 years, and then afterwards going to the house of Laban and not almost not studying at all. The latter dream in between these two events is a message to Jacob. God wants us just to climb the ladder. Sometimes we can take giant steps, and sometimes we have to take small steps, depending on whatever situation God puts us into. As long as we keep striving to grow, yes, the same Jacob, the scholar, the magnificent scholar who didn't waste one second in all of the 14 years. Now, he's busy. He's a shepherd, day and night, striving, still striving to do his best, still striving to grow closer to God. Sometimes in life we say, look, I, I, I wish, you know, I wish I could study. I really wish I had the time to really study, um, but I can't. Well. Take the time that you have and study a little. Oh, I wish there's so much that I could do. and There's so much that I want to do. I just can't because of this situation, that situation. Take a step on the ladder. That's what God asks of us as long as we strive to keep growing. Have a fabulous Shabbos.